All right, so what do we got here? What kind of drum is this? It's an old, it's a Ludwig? It's an old Ludwig. It has that white paint on there, which gums up all of my sanding disc here. <laughs> they call me Primitive Stan because I've been doing this, this old style for 40-something years. Router would be a lot easier, but who wants to do things easy? That's right. So what's the problem with the edges as they are now? Well, it's the old school, and back in the day, they didn't give a shit about edges, as you can see. And one of the problems you do have with a router every now and then is you, you see that little lump right there where it comes together as a shell? Mm -hmm. Your router roller rides on that. So when it hits here, boom, the roller moves. So I've always done these by hand, like a Gretsch shell or, or uh, a six-ply, eight-ply shell, anything that doesn't have that lap over that big you can use a router it's a, it's a lot easier but these you know it's just best it's just my old style is what it is and so what tools are you using uh just, just a vacuum just to keep some of the dust down that's basically all i mean no big deal there you just got to line it up a little bit and now we gotta we gotta cut that get that paint off of there it's gonna gum that thing up real good. And here we go. What I did there, just make a nice sharp edge all the way around, all the way to the end. I'm, I'm basically watching the different woods. When it gets into the poplar wood, I can see it turn a different color while I'm shaving it, and that was my guide. But it's got a nice sharp edge. Then you would take it to the sanding, and you make it true, which is the best part about edges. Making it true. So that's sandpaper right down there. That's four sheets of sandpaper, about 60 grit. I know a lot of people like different angles where they talk about either rounded edges or 30 degree, 45 degree. Is there anything that you kind of go by or anything that you, um, any standard that you have? I'm just a firm believer of uh, just a nice flush sharp edge, whether it's your point of that nature or here inside of the shell here it doesn't matter where this is it's all about here where the head hits that's what it's about mm -hmm. whether that's 60 40 45 has no bearing it's all about the edge here around the drum the sharper I think it is for plastic heads the more resonance you're going to get if you want something rounded I could back off a little bit on it and then sand it and round it to make it a duller. But this is an old drum. Putting a sharp edge on an old drum for a studio is fantastic. Makes them sing. And you can always muffle down. But because the drum already is, is a drier drum than modern day drums. 
Right, right. And so with the with the sander that you're using, is there any like specific uh, grade or is that a hundred grit? What I use. Now, see, now it's flush. You can probably see it. It's it's. You want to make sure you're flat all the way around. That means that means we're flush now. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to go back and put the sharp edge on it. The finishing touch is what I'm going to do now. Final clean sharp edge all the way around. Nice. And you just kind of finish it off with a little light sandpaper 200 grit. Smooth it out. I'm running my thumb here so I don't hit the top. seal it just a little bit what kind of oil is that it's like a wood yeah it's just a wood protection type of deal yeah it's more of a more, yeah it's just more of a old english simon would like that old english yeah he would wouldn't he that, that brit <laughs> and there you go beautiful off, off to the forum to play those two shows <laughs> all right that's all you so got.